好，二零二二年第三十二到三十四條咧，都係有關於以下呢個果實嘅切面嘅。咁下面咧就問翻我哋啦，以下邊一個嘅結構啦，係由個輪咧去演化而成嘅。咁其實成條題目就係考翻我哋啦。當一朵花進行咗全粉啊、受精之後咧，嗰、那個果實啦、啊，同埋呢個種子啊，呢、這個咁樣嘅形成嘅。就係、是、考翻我哋種子同埋果實嘅形成嘅，咁當中啦喺個花嘅結構有啲咩嘅改變，去形成咗一個果實同埋當中嘅種子咧。咁啊嗱 ，P、Q、R、S 都係嗰句啦，有翻好嘅習慣啦。P 同埋 Q 咧都係果皮嚟嘅，不過 Q 咧就係、是、嗰啲肉嚟噶嘛，所以啦就係、是、肉質肥厚嘅果皮啦。咁啊 R 咧就係、是、種皮啦 ，S 咧就係、是、胚胎啦。咁所以啦，邊一個係由個輪去演化而成嘅咧？題目啦，一讀咧係一定讀得到翻嚟嘅，就係、是、個胚胎啦。咁啊，有翻少少體育精神啦，係咪 ？P 同 Q 咧都係果皮嚟嘅，果皮咧係由個脂肪壁咧所形成嘅，而種皮 s e c o s 咧。就係、是、由豬皮 i n t e c u m e n 咧所形成嘅。咁過往咧都有唔少題目係問翻種子啊、果實啊、果皮啊呢啲咁嘅功能啊、結構啊，究竟有啲咩咁特別嘅？咁啊，快快手睇翻段片温温書啦噃。Question thirty two to thirty four. It refers to the following diagram, which shows a section of the fruit. And then for the question thirty two, which of the following structure is developed from the ovum? So this question it shows us the concept about the changes in the formation of the seed and the fruit. So how will the structure in the flower change to the fruit structure? So for the P Q R S, remember we have the good habit. P and Q they are the fruit wall, but for Q it is a fleshy fruit wall. Now R it is a seed coat and S it is the embryo. So from the book we can get this concept easily, very straightforward. After fertilization, it will form the embryo. Structures P and Q, fruit wall, they are developed from the ovary wall, and then for the seed coat, is developed from the integument of the flower plant. And then you can see that there are lots of questions asking the seed, fruit, fruit wall, flower to fruit, the transformation of flower to fruit, or the function of the fruit. So watch the video for the revision.